Hey guys, welcome to my disaster area of a living room. I am gradually getting myself sorted and organized and, you know, doing the whole clean up the house thing, but I'm, if I'm not spinning, I'm outside. So, you know, housework falls by the wayside. So today, I have been practicing and taking advice. So we are going to use my new blending board. We are going to use some Red Erie Silk from Collage Fiber Arts and some Light Yak Roving from Wool Interrupted. So this is super soft and squishy. And I think that this color blend is going to be freaking amazing. Now I've learned a couple of things. I've played with my blending board a couple of times. I'm still no expert. But thanks to some tips from you guys, my great subscribers, <clears throat> I think I'm a little better at it. So let's make some Erie Silk and Yak Roll Eggs and then we'll spin it up and see what kind of yarn we get. Because I'm curious to see, you're dealing with two extreme ends of the staple length because you have your really long Erie Silk and you have your really short Yak Fiber. But if I spin it woolen, here's the theory. If I spin it woolen long draw from a roll egg, the silk should encase the yak mostly and kind of, yeah. Anyways, it might work. It might not. Let's try it. So I'll reposition the camera and we'll get working on the blending board. All right. I'm going to start. with laying down some red eerie silk. This stuff is so pretty, guys. It's just amazing, I'm in love. Now, the first thing I learned is I like working sideways on my blending board. Don't ask me why. Just, uh, you know, me being me, weird. Oh, there's a lovely breeze today. I've got all my windows open so that I can take advantage of the finally cooler air. It's just gorgeous. Nights, it's getting nice and cool, so it's great for sleeping. All right, let's burnish this. What the heck did I do? There it is. All right, so the best advice I got that, well, the advice that worked for me Carol Howe told me to take my brush, turn it upside down, and go from top to bottom. So you can see where I started experimenting with that, and I raked my finger on the blending board. But she's right, it works. So, is that better, Carol? <laughs> I'm so sorry I made you cringe. <laughs> so, ow, 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 I just hit my finger again. I'm such a klutz. This is why I always make sure my tetanus is up to date because I'm forever wounding myself. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna add some more. I'm still not great at this, by the way. Just better than I was the first try. <laughs> And the silk just loves to stick to my hands. Just got to learn to change my grip on the brush and to not go too even with the board or it'll slip and then I'll run my knuckles down the blending board again. All right, let's get a little bit more silk here. See, as soon as I lift my hand, darned silk. Why do you have to be so perfect and beautiful and sticky? All right, let's try not using a hand at all. Let's whip it on and drag it over. 
No, not working. It only sticks to my hands when I get too thick a piece. So it's a good reminder for me to keep my layers a little thinner. And tap them in more. There we go. All right, let's grab our brush, hold it near the top, and keep it angled a bit so I don't run my knuckles over the blending board. spot here. Bit of a bold spot here and here. Did it again. <laughs> oh, I am such a klutz. Ow, 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 ow. And it's always that same knuckle. I'm going to have to start wearing a bandage on that finger so I don't bobo myself all the time. All right, now it's time for some yak. Now, yak has a very short fiber. Very short staple length because it is just the undercoat of the big animal. So I'm just going to take a little bit and just kind of brush it over. Try not to get clumps like this. Get on there. And off. Ow! Then I jab myself under the finger. Oh, I'm having a grand day today, guys. I wonder if I move this up. I start to, to check my fingers. In there. That seems a little better for not rasping my knuckles across. again. keep my knuckles a bit safer so I'll try this one a little more often all right I'll grab another batch
pretty decent layer of yak. So now I'm going to top it off with some more silk. Still trying to figure out the best way to put the silk on. The yak goes on so much easier. This is freaking brilliant. Tip the board and it seems to go a whole lot better. All right. Still need a little more silk here. here I'm just gonna pull that off collect it all off of my blanket toss that back in the bin for future blends all right so let's do this off this let's pull off some Rolex I'm gonna try using my dowels again I have not sanded them but I'm going to try to not make it tight keep my dowels off set and loosen it up and wrap Let's see. No, I still need to sand my dowels. It's a little easier though. All right. And we cure this up. And we put it in our little fancy container to take over to our spinning wheel. I'm gonna swap these out for my knitting needles. bit. Oop, there's a spot of mist right there. All right. So I can get my knits and needles under there. All right. Draft it out, loosen it off, and then wrap. Yeah, I know. Don't give up my day job and become a singer, right? All right. So here's our next one. I'm going to rip that one up. And put that in the little bin. 
Now I did not put a whole lot of fiber on here. I probably could have put a lot more, but I want to experiment with this blend and how it's going to spin. So I don't want to do up a whole bunch of it only to find out that it sucks butt because then I have this huge blend of stuff I'm not going to use. I'm going to put the last of this into this roll egg though. So we will test it spinning from a fatter roll egg. Just spreading out that silk a little bit. All right, so we got three cinnamon buns. We're going to take those over to the spinning wheel and we're going to see how it spins up. Meet you over there. So I like spinning woolen and I like the long draw technique. But with the way I have my chair set up, I can't, it's really hard to spin long draw. So I do long draw technique in front of me. Let me just get this started. All right. So basically what I do is I'll only take like a little teeny bit of my roll egg. I'll let the spin in. And then I just use... The same technique she would for a long draw, but I just keep it right in front of me. So basically just use a little teeny bit of your roll egg, which can be tricky with silk because it's such a long stapled fiber. So if you have a spot that's like really stubborn, you can just untwist and draft it out. There we go. Just let it grab a little bit ahead of your hand. And then on to the wheel. Grab a little bit in front of your pinch. And then on to your wheel. And then on to the wheel. I oh, see I got way too much in there. So rather than keep drafting it back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the amount of fiber I'm working with so I don't end up long drawing behind me. So I'm going to pinch there, release some of that twist to get the fibers to draft a bit. There we go. All right. Oop. Too far. I went too far. So we'll just join it right there. That little clump of silk is just being a pain in the butt. All right, there we go. Oh, I should move this while I have a second. All right, just a little, little bit of fiber out. That's far enough. So if you have back or shoulder problems and doing a long draw is too hard, I find that this is a good alternative. You're literally <clears throat> just doing a long draw in short form. <laughs> I don't know, I guess you could call it, um, what was that they used to teach for? For secretaries dictation this is like 
dictation long draw. Now these big clumps of silk are causing me big problems. So I'm going to untwist and I'm going to graft right here. Because I know from previous experience in this that it's going to be nothing but a pain in the butt. So I'm very gently going to untwist and draft it out. Oh, come on. All right, you don't want to draft? I'll just spin you in then. To heck with you. I'll only fight with it for so long. Now just use your fingers to stop the twist. But because these fibers are so long, sometimes they just won't draft. So we'll just manually draft them out. And then hold it here, otherwise it's going to fly apart. There we go. Just let a little bit of fiber out between your fingers, draft it out, add your twist onto the wheel. Just a little bit of fiber out between your fingers, add the twist, and then onto the wheel. Just a little bit. Oh, it wants to take a big chunk. Okay, so my roll egg is starting to chunk up, so I'm going to draft it out a bit, take out any of those big clumps so that when I get to them they're not going to be a pain in the butt. All right, here we go again. A little bit out between the fingers but no further back than you're comfortable going with your shoulder arm back stuff. Stop there, get your twist right and on to the wheel. You can even do it between the wheel and your belly. It's just a matter of figuring out how much fiber to let out for your drafting length. So you're doing like a woolen long draw, but instead of pulling back, you're pulling forward. Back to here. No, I guess it's kind of half and half. But you're just working between the wheel and where you're comfortable drawing your hand back to. So with some practice, you can get just the right amount of fibers to work with. And then you can spin woolen long draw that's not long draw. It will be probably a little futzier because normally what I would do here is now that I've got this at the right width, but this is drafted to the right size for my single, I would normally draft out more fibers to loosen that twist to allow that to draft out. Since I'm not going back any further, I'm just going to loosen the twist here. and draft it manually right here and then let the twist in. That's the only downside of doing it. I'm going to call this dictation style. So it's like a short form of the long draw. Okay, that's more than enough fiber there. Get my twist into it, onto the wheel. A little bit of fiber drawn out, then clamp with this hand. You can see how I clamp between my fingers. And let some of that twist in. Until I get to the diameter of the singles I want. Add my twist onto the wheel. So that's probably enough there. So I'm going to clamp so no more fiber can draw out. And I let in too much twist, so. 
So what I'm going to do is go back here, untwist, manually draft, and we should be back on track. All right, I just wanted to discuss that um, dictation version of the woolen long draw. And now I'm going to finish up. So I chain plied up the Erie Silk and Yak roll eggs, spun them up woolen long draw, and then just chain plied them. And I haven't washed it yet, but here's the result. So washing to set the twist will chill everything down a little bit, make it a little more even. But I think it is, it's very pretty. The colors are so warm together that I think it would make a fabulous like winter scarf or a hat. I'm thinking scarf because this is so soft that there is no scritch. You can wear this like tucked against your neck and you will never get an itch out of this not a one i mean it's silk and yak but it will have like zero memory so however it drapes is how it drapes there'll be no like spring back or anything with this but it is quite lovely and i think that my blending board skills um seem to be improving a bit which, I mean, really, <laughs> they can only go up. <laughs> I'm pretty sad with the blending board, but I'm getting better, and I'm only slightly wounded. So, um, that's my yak silk. I still haven't decided if I want to blend up the rest of it and spin it this way. I will probably um, leave this, maybe wash it, let it dry, leave it aside for a, a day, at least overnight, and then revisit it again tomorrow or the day after and see how I feel about it then. Because I often find when I'm working with a project, when I'm done, I'm so sick of looking at it that I'm just like, that's crap, throw it away. And then I look at it, you know, a few days later and I'm like, why did I think that was horrible? It's fabulous. I want to do, but, you know. So I think for now, I will let it rest. I'll wash it, hang it to dry, let it rest, and I'll revisit it in a couple of days and see if that's what I want to do with the rest of my fibers. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like this, do the stuff down below because I do stuff like this all the time. Thanks, guys. Bye.